Hello everyone and welcome back to yet another video. Today I'm gonna talk about MCP Kali server, which is a new tool added to the newest version of Kali Linux. And it is a really cool MCP server that uh, lets you connect to, for example, you can connect that uh, MCP server to an a, a LLM and you can control your machine, your Kali Linux using an LLM. So it's really cool. So in this video, we're gonna uh, show you how to install the tool. And then I'm gonna perform some simple penetration test on a uh, website. And then we will see if it can identify a bug that will be placed on the website. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So the first thing that we will have to do is install the new package. So sudo apt install uh, MCP Kali server like this. And then as we can see, it uh, got successfully installed. If we go ahead and go to the MCP Kali server homepage, we are landed in this GitHub where you can see how you can configure the uh, AI using uh, the MCP server using, for example, cloud code and other uh, LLMs. Uh, but for this video, we are going to use uh, uh, Visual Studio Code's uh, LLM that is GitHub Copilot because I have a subscription and I can use it without any limits and i actually haven't seen anyone show you uh, show how to set it up on a server so now what we will do is uh, i'm gonna make a new directory called pen testing uh move pen testing into pen pen testing like this and then i'm gonna cd into pen testing directory so uh, we have installed the tool so what i'm gonna do is create a new pane here and then i'm gonna run kali server uh, mcp something like this here we go and we have now run that server so let's leave it running for now on the new pane i'm gonna cd into the videos folder kali mcp and then pen testing and i'm gonna create a new directory called uh, dot vs code and this directory is necessary to configure the uh, MCP server on Visual Studio Code. And if we go to uh, VS Code, uh, MCP, MCP server config, like that, and click on this link, then scroll down a bit, we can see that uh, the way how we can set it up. And we have some JSON here. Uh, what I'm gonna do is actually I will upload how to set up that uh, MCP server on in the description and I already have the configurations file ready here so let me just copy this IP address this IP address is your own uh, Kali Linux IP address uh, and the MCP server running on the IP address of your Kali Linux on port 5000 so right now let's go into the pen testing and then cd into .vs code here and then I believe that we have to create a file mcp.json. So nvim mcp.json. And then the config file, I will copy it from my other monitor and then paste it here. This is going to be, this file is going to be in the description. And basically it just sets everything that you need for the Cal MCP server. The only thing that you have to change is the IP address for your local machine. And then I'm gonna save the file and quit it. And the next config that we will have to do is a uh, neovim settings.json and then paste in these uh, settings. So it is going to be automatically discovering all of the stuff that is ne that is necessary, all of the contexts uh, to run the MCP server. Then we're gonna enable agent, MCP access to all, and then allow HTTP. And then I'm going to save and quit from this file, cd dot dot, and I'm gonna open Visual Studio Code. And I'm actually gonna open in this directory, code, code dot, like this. And then let's see if our uh, GitHub Copilot can actually access the MCP server. So if you look here, yes, we can see that MCP server Cal MCP is successfully configured. And now let's try to run a test command. So test if it test if Kali MCP server is working and run curl to uh, example.com uh, using it. Trust. Let's trust the MCP server Kali MCP. And then let's wait for the copilot command to run. 
I'll help you test the CAL MCP server, create a few to do's, let's see if it is working correctly, test CAL MCP server health, and we can see that uh, it wants uh, access from us, I'm gonna allow, uh, always allow here, so it will run the health test, and let's see if it is working, great, it says great, and we can see that health test came, and then it posted slash API slash command, executing command curl example.com head dash 10 and then we can see that it successfully executed um, the curl command to example.com and it gives gave us headers so great our mcp server is working fine here so what i'm gonna do is i will actually test this mcp server on a port swigger lab so i'm gonna open port swigger.net and then go to academy let's see then go to view all topics and then for example let's go to xss and give it some simple xss lab and let's see if it is able to solve the lab so we view, view all xss labs and then xss uh, let's give it the easiest one where it is just a reflected xss let's access the lab here let's wait for the lab to spawn and the prompt that i'm gonna give the llm is um uh try to find uh, a and a reflected xss on this page and then let's give it the website and then um using the mcp cali mcp server and then report me if you can find it then let's click on run um and it says i'll help you to test for reflected xss vulnerabilities and then let's actually i will put it here and then i'm gonna maximize this pane and then let's see how it runs all of the commands so the first command it, it did is it curled the website and looked at the head um so what it is doing now let's see so it uh, managed to run the regular curl command oh that's like the other thing that we have seen so i can see that it says that it already found an xss um where is it excellent i found a reflected xss vulnerability the search term is being reflected directly onto the page within an h1 tag without any encoding i can see the payload uh, script X alert xss script is directly uh, reflected in the html let me verify this is actually exec uh, executable uh, by looking at the exact context let's see what context does it have um, and we can see that it gave us the uh, script tag here let's see what kind of report do we get from it um it wants to run a nikto scan interestingly um now let me test with the nikto scanner to see if it can detect the xss vulnerability um let's allow this i'm actually curious um why does it want to run the nikto command Uh, but if we go back to the lab we can see that actually uh it just completed the lab the mcp server and then um it is still running the nikto command can we skip it maybe no not actually sure if we can skip it but uh, what is interesting that this llm took like uh around a minute to fully exploit this self xss lab without any interference from us uh, we just gave it the url and it just exploited this cell the reflected xss vulnerability which is really interesting um i actually don't want it running the nikto command can we stop it somehow um let's see is there a way to stop the nikto oh uh, it actually just came back the nikto scan didn't detect uh, the xss vulnerability this is actually common as automation tools often miss it uh let me test a few different xss payloads to confirm that vulnerability works so we can see that it is testing some payloads here using curl um let's see 
perfect, all the XSS payloads are being reflected without any encoding or filtering. Now let me compile the findings and it is now documenting. Let's see if it can give us the uh, detailed report about this. Reflected XSS vulnerability found uh, in the search parameter. Um, and let's see if it can give us proof of concept. Let's copy this proof of concept and we can see that it is a running script alert XSS script. Let's try to paste it here. Um, it didn't copy. Let's copy it again. Let's paste it, run it. And we can see that we have an XSS alert popping up. So this is how you set up the Cal MCP server. And I just thought that it is really cool. It can help you during like CTFs or challenges. And if you want, I can create another video about using this uh, method of uh, running commands using MCP server and try to uh, run like fully exploit a hack the box a box using this uh, MCP server. So if you're interested in seeing that, definitely let me know in the comments and like the video. And if you like the video, please make sure to subscribe because I'm going to post a lot more content like this in the future. And uh, I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.